I have an audition breakdown for you. I'm going to share with you how many auditions I got in 2021, what casting websites I used, in general kind of auditions I got, like voiceover, theatrical, commercial, all of the auditions. So I have done this breakdown in the past. Um, 2020, I hardly did anything acting related, so I did not keep track. But 2021, thankfully, I did 86 auditions. So let me tell you where I got them. So I do have this audition tracker that I made on uh, Google Sheets. If you guys want to make one, I have a video about it. But 30 of these auditions were voiceover auditions. Um, 29 were commercial, seven were film, one was a guest star role, and one was a reality show. I do usually self some a lot more than I did this year so even though 86 auditions is pretty good for me um, I could have gotten a lot more because just this year 42 of those auditions were from my agents um, and 30 were from casting networks so usually I have a lot more from casting networks for auditions from the Academy of Art which is a university in San Francisco um, in the past year or so they have been doing short films or short scenes where you actually record them at home um, or you're part of the rehearsal in their class and those are paid so those were actually sent to me directly from the casting director um, from the university because I have worked with them before and they really they're just they really like me as an actor so they keep inviting me back it's a good experience I think to connect with new um, artistic people directors writers whatever and it is really fun for me as well so I was able to do um, four auditions with them and then four through Aura Casting, which I have made a video about it before, but it's an online casting company. And then one through Cast It Talent, which was a big open casting call for a Netflix show. And that's a website that isn't as popular as the other ones, but every once in a while they do have really good open casting calls. And then I got one from Instagram directly and I did book that short film, but there have been other casting calls that I find out about them through Instagram and then I have to go and submit on casting networks or something else. And also I did short films with friends this year. I did two, I don't know if I put the second one actually. I didn't put the second one, but I also include that one, which I'm gonna put that one in here as well. I like to do, uh, to put in here the short films that I work on as well because those will be there logged so that I can come back to it if I need footage for a reel or if I need an acting clip. I technically did a lot more auditions because in July I also did self-tape auditions every single day for a month. So that was, what was that, like 30 or 31 days in addition to this. So that month was definitely insane. Um, I have noticed that usually around the holiday season, like Thanksgiving, um, Christmas, New Year's, that area, November, December, and a little tiny bit of January, it does tend to slow down a lot. People have already completed all their projects or, you know, it's in like the editing phase or something. So there is definitely a period of the year that it gets a lot slower. During this time, I try my best to relax, but I am also still self-submitting all of the time for jobs that are be coming up in the future. Um, short films, researching to see who is casting what, how I can get my myself into an acting agency that I really want to be a part of in LA. So I'm always doing some kind of work for acting. And of course, because I have this acting channel and my acting TikTok, I'm also always creating pro uh, content for that. And I do make a little bit of money from my channel here. So, you know, it wasn't a terrible year for acting but it wasn't also such a crazy successful year i did do a lot of things other than auditions i did take an acting class um did i take two no i just took one this year i mean 2021 to me was really successful especially compared to 2020 you should consider these casting websites and if you are in the san francisco bay area do some more research and see if you want to submit to mdt they accept people online through their website you have to have you know your headshots your full body shots skills everything um, but I suggest looking into them if you are in the Bay Area. They do accept talent that is local to the Bay Area. And then if you are anywhere else, just keep doing your research, keep looking around, see what your acting market is like. Let's look at which jobs I booked. So I have my laptop right here and the jobs that are booked are, the first one was a short film that I booked through Instagram and that is called Circle of 13. And then the next one was uh, the Academy of Art. I booked a scene with them, a UCG user generated content. So a commercial that I actually booked all of these were soft tapes by the way all of them none of them did i go into an actual audition um the first one that was on instagram that one was a zoom audition 
um, and then a couple of the Academy of Art ones were also Zoom auditions. User generated content project, so I did film this at home and I did book that. And then I created a short film called The Lease with a Friend, and then after that I got another scene through the Academy of Art. I don't think I booked this one. This one says I did book it, but looking at the name, it's from my agency and it said Polly. I do not remember actually booking that, so I must have made a mistake. Uh, the next one is another Academy of Art scene that I booked and then an industrial for so for this one I was actually a featured extra there were only I think four of us actors there was one speaking role um, I did book that one that one was really fun and I was so excited to finally book something that was like a commercial because I hadn't done a commercial in a while and then I booked another scene or with the university with Academy of Art. That one was a scary short film, which was really fun to film. I filmed it with a green screen and I made a vlog about it back in like March. And then after that, I did another user generated commercial or content and then another one. So I did three this year, the user generated content and then after that, I didn't really audition for those because I, I didn't like them as much, even though I could film them pretty quickly at home i just didn't enjoy them as much and they were pretty low pay so i didn't do that and then i got two uh they're commercials but also like infor informative industrials what it is is youtube hired me to be like the an actor for one of their videos about the youtube shorts so i did two of those and um that was really really fun and it was in spanish and i got to meet i got to meet a lot of really cool people um one of them was from YouTube, so that was so much fun, and that was filmed in Oakland. And then I actually was in a reality show that hasn't come out, but I was supposed to be an extra, and then I don't know how much of the footage they're gonna use of me, but I did end up talking a lot on the show, so we'll see when it comes out. We'll see if I was a speaking person, even though it was reality, it was me actually talking. Oh, and then I did one more UCG, actually, one more user-generated um, content project, but that one I did like because it was fitness-oriented. I booked a featured extra role, which I didn't end up actually doing because they had to push the date due to um, somebody was sick, but they pushed it to a date that I just could not do. I was an extra in a Modelo commercial, the beer, for an NBA commercial, and I don't know if I actually made it to the last um, any of the commercials because they edited it into a bunch of different commercials and I didn't include it on here But I should add it so technically, you know 87 But I did another short film with my friend um, Javi and Vittoria and that is still being edited um, I got uh, the first draft of it and I am really excited to share it with you guys. It's so much fun So I got that as well. I'm gonna add it. I think I did that in October and then in October, I did an acting class and then it was Thanksgiving and then Christmas. So I didn't do very much in December, a little bit in November, but those are the jobs that I did book. 17 jobs booked out of 87 auditions to me is a pretty bad number as far as like my previous bookings. But I know that because of the pandemic and now we do self-tape auditions, they are auditioning so many more people. And I also am not submitting to as many background acting jobs, which was why I was able to work so much in the past. When I do background jobs, sometimes um, I'm not as excited about it, which is one of my goals for 2022 of like not talking down to any acting job I have because sometimes I'm like oh it's just a background job like it's whatever but no like I should be happy that I'm making money through acting this year I got to work with YouTube twice and that was really cool and they found out about me and they featured my channel on YouTube which was really cool so I am super proud of every single job that I got this year and I am so excited for 2022 thank you so much for watching I am going to continue to keep track of all of my auditions in 2022 so I can share with you how I got them and anytime there are any opportunities I can share of course I will either on here Instagram or TikTok um, and at the end of every video I feature another channel you guys should go ahead and check out Darinka Rodriguez right here she has a YouTube channel a lot of vlogs and um, it's a new channel so I definitely definitely recommend you checking her out and uh, if you would like to be featured on my next video make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave me a comment